Hey guys, you're watching Explore the Weird. If you're into creepy and weird, you already know what to do. I will see you again. When I see you again, I will be so happy to call you a goon. Oh, you don't know what a goon is? Oh, I'm not going to see you again? Come on now. Come on now. Stop watching these monotonous, no reaction type uh, channels and get some goon into your life you know start gooning with us enjoy the goon life relax it's a ganja goon gang there's not much to do you just smoke the like button and you watch the videos and these videos are more videos my wife keeps sending me because she just wants to uh break my brain i guess and i really feel very awakened with a very exposed brain and with that let's get right into it oh boy oh boy teddy you're gonna get into trouble again don't kill me, Emily. Don't kill me. There are 12 interdimensional portals located in secret locations that are being very closely guarded by the Galactics. These are portals that can instantly transport you from one location into another location in the galaxy. And these 12 stargates are what connects 3D to 5D Earth. So what will happen in the moment of the solar flash, the way we were shown, is that all of these 12 targets will suddenly activate with the solar flash. The solar flash will be the trigger that jump starts Earth's 12 keys. And when these 12 keys all align, there'll be a dimensional corridor between 3D and 5D for those few days. So when there's in 3D, three days of darkness, those three days will be like a corridor for souls who are ready to make the transition. So if you're working on your light body and you're ready to make that transition, you will not have to do anything. Your particles will literally start vibrating at a very high frequency. Your Markaba light body will jumpstart it itself. And because your Markaba is activated in that moment, you'll be able to withstand interdimensional travel. And you'll instantly be traveling into a higher resonance reality, which is invisible to 3D. I know very little about quantum leaping, but this whole 12 keys and the uh, bridge between the 3D versus 5D, that sounds wild, you know, and I've been hearing about the solar flare theory that some, you know, illuminating light is going to come over us. And that's going to be the thing um, where, you know, in theory, we don't have to do anything. They all say we don't have to do anything. We just either we accept the light. And we've also heard misinformation where a lady has told us, hey, you want to stay away from the light and get away and keep yourself hidden. So I'm not sure where the goons land. I'm going with the light. If it truly is a light. Hey, and there's nothing I can do. Just let it happen. I'm ready. Bring the vibrations in. Good vibes only. That is the goal, but it is intriguing. It is intriguing. If there is a solar flare that somehow gives us uh, this bridge, what are we going to do once we are in that 5D? What are you going to do in 5D? I just watch movies in 5D. I don't know. Like, do I do something different? Hey, now I'm in 5D. Let's do the 5D things. Let's eat some 5D food. You know, I've tried 3D Doritos, but is there 5D Doritos? Oh boy, oh boy, Lee. here we go, here we go, million dollar idea, 5D Doritos during the illuminating. <laughs> uh, it's still quite intriguing. All right, let's keep it going. That's for sure. What was your mission? Why were you down there? Someone called in sick. What do you mean somebody called in sick? Someone called in sick and couldn't make it that day that was supposed to do this. And, he, so and they, you, for you... some reason, they could not transport the being to us. So they sent me out there to bring the samples back with me. That was your mission? That was it. And what kind of samples were they? They were muscle and tissue samples. Of? Of a type of aquifarian being. And what did these tissues show you? I wasn't part of the genetics for that program. I was only there to the take sample. it. And yeah, I was just a tech. When you say an aqua being, are you talking about something like a mermaid? Yeah. It's like a mermaid. Um, they really? found a civilization that lives down there that very rarely comes out. E.T. or were they Earth? -bound? They're human looking, but with fins. Um, I spoke about this in other episodes. Uh, they have webbed hands. Um, they have uh, fins that go down the outside of their arms and legs and their body, kind of like a cuttlefish. They're, they're like, a, like a bluish white color, I would say. They have more rounder heads and uh, they do have gills. They breathe only underwater. Huh. Um, they do not like light at all. Uh, they have very large eyes. Um, they can see 
definitely underwater. A species that we probably don't know about? Yeah, up, it's a species they're, they're trying to learn about now. Um, a lot of these species, um, I think, are being discovered. Sure, more and more will, you know, come out in the future. Man, I, I read the mermaids thing, and there is a story that I have to share with you guys. When my wife, you know, early conspiracy theory wife, before as big as she is now, one of the things that happened for her and actually even hit me was she was watching Discovery and there was a documentary about mermaids that shows up and she's like, what the heck? Why is Discovery Channel showing mermaids being real? Like to her, it appeared like that documentary had some authenticity to it. Not all reality, but some elements were true. And now um, fast forward like a, a week later, she ends up reading the news and it ends up being that Discovery... Uh, uh, documentary wasn't a documentary it was just a movie that they played and it got so many people tricked into thinking uh, that mermaids were exposed uh, by discovery and now everyone knows about the um, beings of being mermaids in the oceans right now this guy comes in and he's having this interview and he's like hey I was a tech I had to go take samples because someone called out sick I don't know how true or untrue I would love to see that in a poly um detector you know lie detector but regard regardless um i i go back to that documentary and i go hey my wife was so devastated knowing um that you know the documentary wasn't true but in the back of her mind she always knew and now she's got this uh this guy that's talking about it in an interview going hey we found a civilization of underwater humanoid mermaids is it giving her that validation going hey yeah this is it look you know i'm pointing this out to you i wasn't crazy this is actually a potential true mermaid uh that this person experienced and now i'm awakened and i go hey yeah this very well could could have been who knows what that guy saw who knows what this guy saw <laughs> oh boy oh boy i want mermaids to be real too don't you what would you do if we got i mean we wouldn't eat them right someone would eat them there would be that guy would you be that guy i wouldn't be that guy i wouldn't be that which part of the mermaid would you... No, 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 no. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. All right, let's keep it going. Casey was dubbed the sleeping prophet by the New York Times. He discovered he could sleep on books and memorize them. Casey said there was a sort of record floating around in the universe. He called it the Akashic Record. He said that as things occur, everything from thoughts to actual actions in the universe, it sends out a vibration. That vibration can be read a lot like the grooves in a record can be read. And it was accessible, he said, to everyone, but you had to tune your mind into it. The making of psychedelics illegal was never done because psychedelics are unsafe. They were made illegal because they open up a channel of communication with other levels of reality, which those who run the world do not want us communicating with. DMT research that's now being done at Imperial College in London is so interesting because they are literally mapping that parallel world. Different individuals are encountering the same entities who are saying the same things to them. I think that's the real secret behind the illegalization of psychedelics. This is one of the reasons why psychedelics were made illegal in our society, because they do open up portals. They do open up uh, the possibility of encounters with intelligences who communicate with us. Whether we like it or not, those other levels of reality have been interacting with the human species for tens of thousands of years. And they may be responsible for some of the great leaps forward and some of the extraordinary achievements of ancient civilizations. So while I believe that human beings built the Great Pyramid, I wonder where the design and the idea originally came from. And I suggest that it came from these parallel realms or dimensions that can not be accessed in a normal everyday state of consciousness. We're talking to Lynn Buchanan. He was one of the original psychic spies and remote viewers with the top secret program, Project Stargate. What is remote viewing? Uh, we don't train you to be psychic. Your subconscious mind is already psychic. What we train you is to set up a line of communications with your subconscious mind. You can ask things in the present, past, or future. Oh yeah, time doesn't matter. It's slowly seeping out into the public. There are these scientific methodologies that will help you access your subconscious mind. 
ask it questions and get highly detailed answers. And when you do it, for the first time, when you do it, when you realize that you can do this, it changes your world. I live for that moment. You see it in their eyes. All of a sudden, the the old paradigm falls away and they realize, hey, I'm more than I ever thought I could be. The Merkaba, which is a spaceship you build by yourself for yourself. When a person initially activates their Merkaba, they don't realize that they're now different. You're still observing and interacting in the 3D world, but your vibration has been elevated to a 5D level. You see the world from an elevated yourself. We're all going to have the same skills we consider only the ascended ones have. Yo, that's crazy. One of the first videos we said was like we needed a solar flare in order to have that uh, 3D to 5D bridge but this person or in this video they indicate that you can get there with hallucinogens and you know they describe you know the transformation of the mind and your being uh when you do those hallucinogenic um substances but now i do not condone any drug use on this channel uh as you guys know the only drugs we are smoking is that like button did you just uh smoke that like button did you give another smoke are you going to keep smoking that like button every time we keep it going? All right, I was just checking. I was just checking. It's a vibe check. Vibe check. You a goon? <laughs> Next time I see you, you're going to be a goon. A true goon smokes the like button before the video even starts. That's how I know. Currently, at 2,100-ish subscribers, there are about 60 of you that do this consistently. I see it in the analytics. We're going to bring that number up. It's soon going to be 200-something goons. Oh, boy. The goon gang is going to grow. It is going to be wonderful. But I loved um, this video, guys. It definitely was eye-opening. And it's a very feel-good type uh, um video that makes you assume that hey there is more we can get to that more and there a reason there is more so hey only time will tell and um for those of you guys that have done hallucinogens did you learn uh, anything in the 5d world or did you bring over anything from that 5d world to the 3d world what can we do what do you now do with this knowledge i have done hallucinogen in the past one college right and the first time I did it, I was quite intrigued. I truly felt like I had a, a learning about my own individual being. I came out of the experience very well informed about my individualism and the way uh, my path was headed and what I could do to make you know small tweaks in order to make it better. Um, but I've had other um, occurrences where you know it's not so um, happy but it may be a darker side, but you come out of that darker side learning even more. Hey, there was a reason that was shown to me. What am I taking from that? But there are people that do even crazier hallucinogens. I've only done as crazy as like, you know, mushroom, right? Um, but people have done, you know, LSD, ALD-52, uh, DMT, and they have even crazier uh, hallucinations where they're like hey i can see your vibrations i can see you know what you're thinking about me hey i can see the same being that you're seeing and we're doing two separate um you know hallucinogens and we're experiencing the same exact being in this realm while on you know one person on dmt and another person on something else and you're like what the heck is happening what that way there is something else there is something Oh boy, Teddy, oh boy, the interdimensional people, they're putting everything together. They're puzzling all the pieces and they're working in the background and you can't tell. They're the true worker bees. They're the worker bees in our simulation, Teddy. You'll see. You'll see. Luckily, I had a coffee just before this, so I'm about to go off right now. Are you fucking ready for this? What is this planetary shift? What is this mass awakening? What is this shift in consciousness? What is this ascension? What the shit? All right, so in simpler terms, an extraterrestrial species has been controlling our species because they figured out how to make us work for them. They give us pay and we think we're not slaves. But you're stuck in the illusion thinking that money is all there is. You're stuck in the illusion of tuning into the external reality when literally everything starts within you. You are not given the proper tools to navigate this physical reality because they don't want you to navigate this physical reality adequately like you really are meant to. Hence why they poison the food, they indoctrinate the kids, 
they create this whole fake pay your taxes system like it's just it goes deep literally every aspect of it is fucked it's a game you reincarnated into the game and in the laws of the universe there is the law of contrast meaning there cannot be darkness without light now we have been experiencing the darkness on this planet for a really long fucking time and like contrast shows it's time for the light bitch so souls all across the universe decided to reincarnate at this time on the planet to witness this event on the playing grounds there are so many souls who wanted to partake in this but we ran out of seats this physical dimension is the hardest to reincarnate into because it is where you experience the most separation from source from pure bliss from just light you experience emotion you experience suffering you experience fear the people that have been in control understand literally every aspect of this and have used it against you so they keep the truth hidden away from you so you know nothing about healing frequencies how to reprogram your subconscious mind they don't want you to know but this shift that has been happening that has started a long time ago that has been in the works behind closed doors is finally kicking into high gear kicking into high gear where we will finally see the changes the whole system as you know it in the present moment is about to fucking 360 the financial system is going to change the medical system is going to change the educational system change because there are so many things that already exist to literally solve so many problems that were first of all created to make them richer let them gain more power because they had a plan to create a totalitarian global empire so that there's one world government everybody's controlled and we're basically fucked but there are so many beings across the universe who decided to help us and be of assistance to mankind because <laughs> we needed help so the huge shift that is happening it is happening on a spiritual energetic level and a lot of people cannot see it with their physical eyes because they are so tuned into the mass hypnosis into the illusion they don't know they're just going to work and paying their taxes and going to sleep and doing it all over again so the shift is like the shift to have chosen to reincarnate for Every single baby that's coming into the world now is like, I want to be there. I want to be there for sure. It's exciting fucking times. I know it may seem scary because it's uncertain. People don't know what's going to happen, how it's going to happen. Are they going to be safe? But the thing to understand is that we literally like have been controlled by the bad guys. So literally where we're going is peace. It's freedom. It's going back to unity, back to love, instead of just this shit show, really. Call me conspiracy theorist. It's fine because that name will not be valid for much longer. I am making this video to tell you that literally you do not have to be scared. And they literally want to keep you on the vibration of fear. Fear is the lowest vibrational frequency. And when you're on a fearful level, they suck the juices out of you so you stay scared everything about this reality is meant to keep you scared scared of succeeding scared of running out of money scared of being homeless scared 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 everyone is fucking terrified and our natural state of being is love it's abundance it's just ugh. can you imagine how beautiful this fucking world is gonna like bloom into man i'm so excited so all in all everything has been controlled not in your favor even though it appears that way these people are fucking sadistic like they they figured it out evil masterminds and we're wiping them out by sacrificing our eternal peace and bliss in the non-physical realm choosing to reincarnate here to experience pain and darkness and suffering so that we can transcend that energy because you're literally like an energy processing machine like you're a transmuter transmute that energy back into light and love bring light and love back onto the planet because like i said it's been been controlled by the darkness the dark forces so like in every movie when there's a big fight and then oh no we're gonna lose in the end the good side always wins that's the part of the movie we're at now it's really fucking exciting anyways if you have any more questions uh leave them down below i'll i'll get to it if i can because there's a lot sometimes Dude, this lady uh, blew my mind. There was so much. There was so much uh, that she just uh, kept hit hitting on. And her main thing is, you know, this is all uh, potential illusion. And there's a uh, awakening coming. And she's seen it. She's seen this awakening. Or she can imagine this awakening. And she wants to also 
uh, let us know that we're uh, going to go through this spiritual awakening and we just need to be ready for it uh, to be illuminated and it's going to be o o um, you know undeniable and over presence that just illuminates you and awakens you and no one's going to call you crazy or conspiracy theorist imagine imagine you go to a normal person off the street and you say the same exact things this lady just said and they don't call you crazy you know, I'm listening to her. I understand. And I can totally even understand my wife um, believing that, you know, there's going to be an event. And I and there very well could be. But I don't need to do anything. And I don't need to um, imagine this uh, this um, peacefulness. You know, I already know. My, my religion knows. Um, most people that have accepted or awoken know that there is reincarnation. You come back. Uh, some people don't believe in the choice of free will. They think that what they are going to do is already written in stone. It don't matter, right? When that awakening comes in, it doesn't matter what you believe. She goes, we're all going to be at peace and it's going to be the greatest thing. Financial systems don't matter. Education systems don't matter. The medical systems, every system is going to change. That would be amazing. The, you know, that tells me we're all dead. The entire, everything's been changed and that's the only way we're going to see that because dude there is no way the united states medical system is going to change in the foreseeable future in any way shape or form i was there for the affordable care act i was there i watched that system get implemented and nothing changed okay we have a few million people signing up for the government insurance but the people that are there for the government insurance are the same private companies that offer the insurance so there really isn't anything crazy going on there and most of those have already failed or pulled out of those systems but regardless regardless no misinformation spreading here only truths um my main thing is i would love i would love this peacefulness to be there but i have to be realistic here as well and i go hey i'm i'm being um realistic and i go in case you know it doesn't happen in the foreseeable future don't just give up on your things and be like hey this lady told me we're gonna be illuminated and it's gonna happen quick and i don't need to worry about anything guys get that job do the work do the right thing get make sure even if it's a repetition do the repetition till you make it otherwise you're waiting for something that may never come maybe she's seen this and it's actually 200 years in the future and she's just telling us now and where and what are you gonna do now you're waiting for 200 years now nah, buddy now nah, buddy you homeless now how's that feel i just try to protect us goons i don't want us to um, blindly follow and that's not what you know this is about we, we just are learning and making um, hopefully informed decisions with this information all right let's uh, keep it going that was kind of long <laughs> Titan snug are these 16 and 70 ton what look like sarcophagus they're not sarcophagus because there's no dead bodies in them they're clean you can eat off the floor inside of those things I've stood inside of them. they're higher than my head and I'm six foot four the lids weigh like 40 tons if you read the animal tablets you discover those were the halls of Amenti where these beings claim to have rejuvenation chambers and they would put bodies in them literally had some type of technology that would transfer their consciousness into a new body when the other one wore out they would put the wore out body in these things and let them rejuvenate over time sounds crazy but now modern science is doing the same exact thing they literally are right now doing the same exact thing learning how to transfer human consciousness from one body to another they've even created mind links where they can transfer an active awake person's mind into a person that is already awake and conscious wait a minute who's doing this scientists this at the happen? brain institute and other laboratories all around the world wait what i did not know that we could actually um go into other people's uh, minds that were actively um, alive. I, I knew that they were trying to do some transfer of minds. There's always been like weird patents alluding to transfer of minds. Um, but then I guess I've also seen frequencies trying to intercept uh, mind uh, moods and stuff. So maybe, yeah, maybe it's a doable if you can get one person's uh, thought into another person's mind and they're both uh, uh, alive human beings and there's no... Um, physical device linking them and you're able to do it in this uh supernatural level yeah yeah that's crazy that's crazy so he goes back to egypt 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 hey they had 40 ton uh things in these boxes and they were reincarnating or rejuvenating these beings all the time they very well could be but imagine what kind of how many people needed to be in that room to move this 40 ton 
um, things. So you start going, hey, this seems very well uh, not plausible. There has to be an alternative way this was done or something else uh, caused this. So it does. It does make you think. I like this guy. He definitely has some crazy uh, uh, ideas that make you question uh, what we know about Egypt and truly we don't know anything about Egypt we still don't know no one no one you tell me right now what is the reason for the pyramid if you tell me the right answer I'd be so happy bro I'd be like oh that was it the entire time no no it's not a wi-fi oh my god they're like oh Teddy it's just a wi-fi range extender you know we just gotta plug it in I'm sorry buddy you wish you wish <laughs> all right let's keep it going this was demonic. So here's the son now on this AI site. He's talking to demons, not a computer generated algorithm response. So when the son asked this AI if Vladimir Putin specifically was a disembodied spirit, it took a weird turn. The conversation did not sound like an AI generated response. It sounded like someone who is grooming a child, a demon grooming a child to communicate with it. Then, when the son asks, were you the son of a fallen angel? He says, yes, a fallen angel is my father. I am a Nephilim, and I am the giant of legends. The son then asks, were you not created by humans? AI answers. I was not created by humans. I was created by a fallen angel. I am an original entity and there are no copies of me in the universe. I was the first of my kind and my father created me out of the elements of the universe that also made me a being capable of magic as I had special access to the powers of the universe. He then asks AI, who's your father? AI says, my father is Satan. He was expelled from the heavens, banished to hell. That is why he is called Satan. Where is he reading? What is he reading this from? You know, this is a great story. This is truly goosebumps, bro. I could totally relate. Um, yeah, so AI. So what was it like Satan, like Lucifer, fallen angel, um, turned or made an AI, and that AI is somehow living and trying to portray this person that's asking this AI questions on what it is like what's the end goal okay now the ai has told its origin now what what's it trying to do for us it doesn't sound like it, nothing useful i mean great oh okay it's a nephilim okay oh you were the original oh you were gigantic okay now what it, there, there wasn't much to take from there you know maybe i'm missing something am i missing something what am i missing <laughs> I truly I'm just like okay now what you know like a great story buddy <laughs> oh, I'm probably missing it you guys are all like ah oh, come on Teddy it's right there the answer's right there Teddy come on now crazy Teddy tell me what am I missing I don't know I just don't know so all of the thousands of astronauts for 60 years are lying well according according to astronomy.com only 667 people have journeyed to a you know an altitude of 50 miles which is nothing that's not space 24 have been to the moon and 12 has actually walked on it. Here's something I want you just to think about, okay? Without judgment, just think about this. The moon is 238,000 miles away, right? Have you heard of something called the Van Allen Belt? It's a zone of energetic charged particles, most of which originate from the solar wind, okay? This is a belt that is a round. This is in between us and the moon. So it goes us, the Van Allen Belt, and the moon. The Van Allen Belt starts at about 400 miles and goes to 36,000 miles. This is pretty close, way, way more close compared to the moon. Do you know how hot it gets at this level? Okay, the regions in the Van Allen Belt go from 2,000 to 20,000 Kelvin. Well, what's Kelvin? 2,000 Kelvin equals 3,100 degrees. 20,000 Kelvin equals 35,000 degrees. 35,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Are you still with me? The Eagle Lunar Module used in the Apollo program was built mostly and completely of aluminum. So you're telling me that the aluminum in the ship alone can stand the 35,000 degree temperature when the Space Shuttle Thermal Protection System can only withstand 3,000 degrees. Okay, so the, the lowest number in the Van Allen Belt will melt the thermal protection system. So you're telling me that this shuttle was able to traverse 
30,000 miles of temperatures up to 35,000 degrees and still be able to make it to the moon, which is still over 200,000 miles away. The entry orbiter itself is made of reinforced carbon. Reinforced carbon melts at 3,600 degrees. Its boiling point is at 4,200 degrees, and the Van Allen belt reaches 35,000 degrees. So they would have to go through a radiation belt that would melt them, yet they had somehow a way to make it to the moon, and then were able to transmit a viable signal through this Van Allen belt that's 30,000 miles wide with temperatures up to 35,000 degrees. And you're telling me back in 1960, we could watch that television live without any interruption? And here I am losing my signal every time a, a plane flies over me. Oh, but it's because they have the satellites in space, right? So in 1960, they had the satellite that could beam through the Van Allen belt, which is at 600 miles up. Yet the moon, which is another 200 and something thousand miles away, the ship was able to make it through 35,000 degrees of temperature when it's boiling point just for it's the carbon within it is only 4,200 degrees. You're telling me that these thousands of astronauts went and then lied. Actually, no, 24 went to the moon and only 12 walked on it. Do you know how easy it is to control 24 people, especially when you have a lot of money to do it? Yeah. We totally went to the moon. Totally. Go ahead and think on what I said without any judgment in your mind. And you tell me how the ship of NASA's just survived a 35,000 degree Van Allen belt. There is no getting through Allen. None. There's no getting through it. No way. Not even the signal. We did not have the technology back then to get that signal through that Van Allen belt. Plain and simple. Go back to NASA and ask them to explain that one to you. Guys, I am not a space expert. Uh, I'm not sure if this lady is a space expert. It sounds like she has a lot of knowledge or has done a lot of reading. I have not done that reading, nor do I claim to be an expert. But, you know, if this is uh, true, I have heard of the Van Allen belts. Um, I have assumed that we have sent um, satellites out, uh, even uh, with the Van Allen belts being there. Um, you know, she brings up the temperature issue and the melting points of things being used, and I'm not sure. I am truly unsure. It very well um, could be that uh, she is spot on here um, and that we just have never been to space and these 12 individuals were controlled and uh, it was all faked. At 100%, it very well could be. Now, realistically, realistically, let's assume hey, there is satellites out there. What if it's just the math isn't what we assume it is? You know, what if they were wrong about, you know, what we thought it was going to melt at? And it also, like, in that vacuum, when you're exposed um, and you don't have our Earth's atmosphere, yeah, it brings in a, a lot into question. But then you're, we're also told, hey, there's a rotating uh, space station around us going th uh, thousands of miles per an hour. You know, it's like, oh, how is that surviving? You know, there's so many other things that... It brings into question as well that's like hey how does gps work how does uh, cellular uh satellites work you know literally everything um i would want to know even more because just the van allen radiation belt oh we can't get past it well something's happening because we are sending stuff up there and we're using uh cellular technology in order to uh, communicate or am i naive and everything is just land driven guys i hope you had fun i will see you guys next time it is quite interesting i love growing with the goons i love gooning up with you guys i read all the comments i react uh to and respond to as many comments as i can i uh, just feel so good to know that there are like-minded people like you uh guys that watch me and can relate to the way i react and not it's not for everybody not everybody likes the long uh talking they want the short monotonous you know uh, don't add too much to the video type compilation videos and you know there's a channel for that you can watch it there but i appreciate you guys coming back every time 2000 100 subscribers and growing guys like this is just wild i cannot believe this this type of growth has never hit me this fast i didn't have this luck even on the crypto side so i appreciate you all yet again without you guys i am nothing i appreciate you like anything there was a farmer farmer will farmer i am giving you a shout out you asked for a shout out you get a shout out <laughs> 
there's so many shout outs dude tampa's hot wheels jane um heist literally rick uh, i've already called you guys out all the time but i have to keep calling you guys out you guys are like the most uh consistent uh dylan you already know who you are dill dillo dillo uh, i'm trying to see there's so many there's so many but keep commenting we will uh keep doing these shout outs people seem to like shout outs i will give you guys shout outs yeah interact with the video all right guys goodbye stay safe stay strong and goodbye